Sacrifices offered to God are opportunities to showcase His love. Welcome to today's encouragement from our daily bread. Confident Hope is the title of today's reading, and it was written by Randy Kilgore. Dr. William Wallace was serving as a missionary surgeon in Wuzhou, China, in the 1940s when Japan attacked China. Wallace, who was in charge of Stout Memorial Hospital at the time, ordered the hospital to load his equipment on barges and continue to function as a hospital while floating up and down rivers to avoid infantry attacks. During dangerous times, Philippians 1.21 one of Wallace's favorite verses reminded him that if he lived, he had work to do for the Savior. But if he died, he had the promise of eternity with Christ. The verse took on special meaning when he died while falsely imprisoned in 1951. Paul's writing reflects a deep devotion we can aspire to as followers of Jesus, enabling us to face trials and even danger for his sake. It is devotion enabled by the Holy Spirit, and the prayers of those closest to us. It's also a promise. Even when we surrender ourselves to continued service under difficult circumstances, it is with this reminder, when our life and work end here, we still have the joy of eternity with Jesus ahead of us. In our hardest moments, with hearts committed to walking with Christ now, and with our eyes firmly fixed on the promise of eternity with Him, may our days and our acts bless others with the love of God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 1, verses 19-26. through 26. For I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain, and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. Let's pray. Father, please make us willing servants in times of weakness and times of strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.